All right, so I want to do long division of polynomials. Um, and just to recap uh, something back in the day you might not have done in a long time, to do long division of polynomials, it's going to help, if you recall, how to do long division of numbers. So like if I do 120, do whatever, 7 divided by 5, I want to know how to do this by hand. If you don't remember how to do that, you know, long division of polynomials is going to be hard. So uh, you start with 5 into 1. 5 doesn't go into 1. So I now go 5 into 12. 5 goes into 12 how many times? It goes 2 times. So I put the 2 on top of the 12. And whatever goes on top of this uh, divider gets multiplied by this. So 2 times 5 is 10. And I always subtract here. 12 minus 10 is 2. I bring down the next number. And then now I go 5 into 27. 5 into 27, 5 times. 5 goes on top of the 7. Anything on top of here gets multiplied by this. 5 times 5 is 25. Again, I subtract. I keep going until I can't go anymore. There's no number to bring down. 5 does not go into 2, so this is my remainder. All right? And if you recall how you represent your answer, you take this top, 25, and then you say it's 25 and this 2 out of this 5. So the remainder goes over this. Okay, so it's like saying 25 plus 2 fifths, or 25 and 2 fifths. This is my complete quotient. So long division of polynomials is the same. It's just that now instead of just numbers, you have polynomials. Long division of polynomials. So um, my first example, let's do, so this is 4 minus 5x minus x squared plus 6x to the third. I'm going to take this polynomial function and divide it by 3x minus 2. Now, <clears throat> obviously I have to rewrite this and set it up so that I have it in the same form that I did this. <clears throat> this goes inside that um, box. And it's not in standard form, so I need to put it in standard form. So I always start with the leading term, 6x to the third, the highest exponent, and I descend from there minus x squared minus 5x plus 4. <clears throat> and I want you guys to pay attention as to whether or not you're missing terms. So I'm starting with a third degree. My second term is a second degree. My third term is a first degree. And then after that should be a constant. So there are no terms missing here because my exponents are descending by 1 all the way down to the constant term. If I were missing a term, then I would have to put a place uh, holder there. And I'll show you what I mean by that divided by 3x minus 2. So now, <clears throat> this is the guy that I'm using to determine you know, what goes into what. 3x goes into 6x to the third how many times? Or, in other words, what multiplied by 3x will give me 6x to the third? If I multiply 3x by 2x squared, I will get 6x to the third. So that's what goes on top here. Again, anything that goes on top here gets multiplied by this whole expression now. So it has to basically be distributed to both of these terms. 2x squared times 3x is 6x to the third, and I want these to match. 2x squared times negative 2 is negative 4x squared, and I'm lining up my like terms. Again, just like before, we're going to subtract, but when I subtract this whole thing, this negative distributes to every term. I'm subtracting a polynomial. So this becomes a minus 6x to the third. This negative distributes here, making this a plus 4x squared. I'm subtracting a polynomial, so that negative distributes. Don't forget that. That can make a big mistake when you do your stuff here. This should go away. Negative x squared plus 4x, to the, uh, 4x squared is 3x squared. And I'm going to bring down the rest of my polynomial function. I'm going to continue as long as this can go into this. That means if this exponent, if this degree is greater than this degree, then I could continue my um, division. 3x into 3x squared. Well, what times 3x gives me 3x squared? Positive x. Positive x times this whole thing now. x times 3x is 3x squared. These should match. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And I'm lining my like terms. Subtraction. This negative is going to distribute, so minus this whole thing. So minus 3x squared minus minus, this is going to be a plus 2x. This is going to go negative 5x plus 2x is negative 3x plus 4. 
Can I keep going? My question. Can I continue? Yes, the degree of this is, is basically the same as this, so I can continue putting this in here. As long as the degree of this is the same or greater than this, then I can keep going. 3x does go into negative 3x. I can multiply it by negative 1. Negative 1 times this whole thing. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Again, anything down there gets subtract, subtracted. I'm subtracting this whole thing. So this minus is going to distribute. Minus minus 3x gives me plus 3x. Minus plus 2 is m minus 2. Don't forget to distribute that negative when you're doing this subtraction. These go. 4 minus 2 is 2. Can I continue? I don't think so. Now the degree here, technically the degree on 2 is 0 because there's no x, right? It's like x to the 0. So this degree is less than this. 3x can't be multiplied by any basic number to get to 2. So this is my remainder. So now I am done with the process. How do I represent my answer? Take the top, 2x squared plus x minus 1 plus the remainder out of 3x minus 2. The same way we did with this guy. Take the top and then this remainder divided by this. Same thing that we do with polynomials. Take the top plus the remainder divided by this. And this is how I represent this is how I represent my full quotient. Okay. Now obviously the remainder here is not zero. And that's very important to identify when the remainder is zero and when is not. In this case, the remainder is not zero. That means that this is not a factor of this. And I'll talk more about factors later. But I want you to start thinking about what the remainder is now. Um, let's do this one. 2x to the fifth minus 8x to the fourth plus 2x to the third plus x squared divided by 2x to the third plus 1. This uh, fraction bar is the same thing as saying division, divided by. So let me start setting this up, taking my numerator, 2x to the fifth minus 8x to the fourth plus 2x to the third plus x squared. I am noticing that I am missing terms. I go from 5 to 4 to 3 to 2, but where's my 1? 0x is my whole placeholder and my constant term 0. Okay, so anytime I'm missing terms, I need placeholders. These are my placeholders. Divided by 2x to the third plus 1. Okay, <clears throat> same thing. This we're going to use to go into these. Start by going 2x to the third into 2x to the fifth. Or what times 2x to the third will give me 2x to the fifth? Well, x squared x squared times this whole polynomial. x squared times 2x to the third is 2x to the fifth. x squared times 1 plus x squared. Now, x squared does not match this. x squared matches this. So I'm going to say plus x squared under here where it matches its like terms. I do not have a fourth degree when I multiply. I don't have a third degree when I multiply. I have a second degree. So this is like saying plus 0, if you want to say it like this, 0x to the 4th plus 0x to the 3rd, if you want to put placeholders. Again, I'm subtracting, right? So this negative is distributing to everything. So minus 2x to the 5th, oh, minus 0, minus 0, minus x squared. These will go. Negative 8x to the 4th, of course, minus 0 is negative 8x to the 4th, plus 2x to the 3rd. These are going to cancel. Bring the rest of it down, plus 0x plus 0, because if we need it, we have those placeholders. And continue if I can. Can I continue? Well, the degree of this polynomial is greater than this, therefore I can continue to say something multiplied by this will give me this. So what times 2x to the third gives me negative 8x to the fourth? A minus 4x. Negative 4x times this whole polynomial. Negative 4x times 2x to the third is negative 8x to the fourth. Negative 4x times 1 is negative 4x. That goes underneath its like term. 
right? I don't have a third degree from here when I multiply. So if I want, I could say plus 0x to the third to put that placeholder. If I want, that's, both of these don't have an x squared, so I don't have to worry about that. If you want, you could put a placeholder for those two. Again, I'm going to subtract. So that negative is going to distribute everywhere here, so that's going to make this a plus. It's going to make this a minus. It's going to make this a plus. And let's subtract now. So these will go 2x to the third minus 0, whatever, 2x to the third. 0x plus 4x is plus 4x plus 0. Again, if I want to put that x squared term here, I could potentially put that placeholder if I need it, but I'm thinking ahead. I don't, it doesn't look like I'm going to need it. Can I keep going? Yes, I can. The degree of this is the same as the degree of this. I can multiply 2x to the third by positive 1 to get 2x to the third. So 1 goes up here, multiply by this whole polynomial, 2x to the third. 1 times 1 is positive 1. That goes over here under its like term, the constant. And I subtract. This negative distributes. This becomes a minus. If I want, I could put a plus 0x here for a placeholder and a minus here. These will go. 4x plus 0 is 4x. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. <clears throat> Can I continue? No. The degree of this is less than the degree of this, which means now I'm at my remainder. So my answer, x squared minus 4x plus 1 plus the remainder divided by 2x to the third plus 1. Here's my full quotient. Again, the remainder is not 0, which means that this is not a factor of this.